Let's leave it off now. Matthew, can you put forms up if you can hear us? Yeah, we're having to do a bit of a work around on the sound, but we will get started now. Uh, I'm just going to introduce Non, who is going to do our questions for us. Uh, you can't quite see Non, but she is here. And um, the questions will start coming up on the screen now. Okay, can you hear me though? What qualities makes you the candidate we should vote for? Yeah, I'm Matthew and Shani again in North. Um, well, what would make me the court the candidate you vote for? Well, not only am I a bright, focused, and confident individual, but I also have a lot of connections that call it Cambria. I have a very, very positive can do attitude towards everything and have a very good track record with being both a team player as well as a team leader. And above all else, I love nothing more than to represent my peers across the board. I do believe that answers your question. Um, that's quite a difficult question, but I would say I'm really hard working and dedicated and I'll put my all into everything that I do for the students to make sure that we get results. Um, I think that I'm quite, you know, approachable and friendly. So I don't think people would have issues coming up to me and, you know, like asking for help because obviously I'm here to help the students. Um, I think that I've got um, a lot of ideas and I like to make things, you know, my own. And um, I think I, quite positive so hopefully that will help me <laughs> yeah Gilchen Barrian, thank you again all of Jonathan yeah brilliant thank you uh, for the question I think that you know I could offer this role seriously leadership I think you know I, I could offer experience as well as hard work uh, to this as well I've been member of the Welsh Youth Parliament for two years and during this time I've been so passionate about representing young people uh, and championing your priorities locally and uh, nationally in the Senate. So I think that if I did take on this role, I would be able to channel these qualities uh, to being a student president at College Cambria and have a vision and make change for young people in whatever campus you're in. Jonathan, thank you. Now, the real question is, how will you get things done? I said, question, a real question, E. Ellie, what's going to come How will I get things done? Um, as quickly as possible. I'll make sure that even if something's taking a long time for whatever reason, that I'll always make sure that you have updates on the situation. Um, you know, generally just as quickly as possible to make sure that the students get what they need, you know, when they need it. Um, also, you know, as smoothly as possible, making sure that um, everything runs smoothly as I'm doing things, everything's done properly, but, you know, still making sure that um, at the end of the day, we get them results to make sure that your time at college um, is as good as possible. Right. Jonathan. Brilliant, thank you. And again, another fantastic question. I think I would answer this by saying that, you know, I have a proven track record of delivering for young people, not just locally in college, but also on a national basis. So when I was elected to, nearly two years ago now as a member of Welsh Youth Parliament, uh, I prioritised education, the environment and transport uh, as my key areas that I wanted to work on over the next two years. And I've achieved all these things. We've got cheaper train fares, uh, for young people. We've also got new environmental legislation across the UK where I was involved in working with the Minister on this and as well life skills in the new curriculum for Wales which is going to affect so many people. So 
What I would say is, is I've already put together a three point plan that if I was elected, I would implement as soon as possible. And I would do this by working cohesively with the board, young people and my network of contacts I've made in my time in politics. Thank you. And Matthew, over and over. I will listen. I will work closely with students um, all across the board, anywhere. Uh, be willing. I will always make myself available to help discuss ideas, uh, issues, plans to help resolve, to help to help us to college in any way, shape, or form that I can. Um, I will also introduce cross-campus meetings, in which once per term, or I don't know, one, probably once per term. I will have the campus councils of each of the respective North Wales campus groups to come together to discuss issues that are affecting each individual campus as well as College Cambria as a whole. Um, thank you. That. Thank you. Yeah, line a tribute question. Basically, I can make an a role. What are you going to bring to the table? So we'll start this time with you, Jonathan. Great, thank you. What I can bring to the table is I can bring uh, leadership, and I think what we need coming through with the COVID nineteen crisis for students is leadership because I think it's something uh, that we have lacked in certain areas. So. What I will give is I will, like I say, provide this leadership, provide experience as well of dealing with people high up in college, people high up in government, and use this to deliver for young people. I will also be able to bring the passion for this role. I've been involved in various student politics and different bits and pieces now for way over five years. You know, I, I like to think I know what I'm doing. I have a proven track record of delivery. And in this role, I will ensure that young people have a voice during these unprecedented times. Ellie. Um, so what I'm going to bring to the table, um, I'm a strong, I would be a strong voice for all students across campuses. I feel like I'm always eager to speak out if there is an issue and I'm not going to be deterred by like maybe like upsetting people like higher up. Um, I am always willing to listen to your ideas and your problems in the hopes of finding a solution. Um, I've got quite a good network with the National Union of Students, which works with the college. So I think that that can be a huge benefit um, for us as a college to use um, those connections. Um, like I said, I'm a dedicated hard worker in everything that I do, whether that be like sport, performing arts or school. So I'm certain that I would be dedicated to this role. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope to bring forth a sense of community and a sense of welcomeness and warm well-being to Coy Cambria. Because over lockdown, many of us, myself included, have missing things that we want to talk for granted, such as uh, meeting up with friends, for example. And I like to bring forth a sense of community, a sense of happy well-being. Uh, I'm implementing schemes such as buddy schemes to help new and upcoming pupils uh, within College Cambria to make sure they have a friend, um, to bring forth online support groups to help tackle subjects such as alcoholism, drug, abu drug abuse, and domestic violence, because no one, and I can't stress this enough, no one deserves to fight it alone. And I will also uh, create a system that allows people to create and even host their own lunchtime clubs. Um, these will all take place online for the time being, but once COVID restrictions lower, I will look at making them face-to-face. Uh,
do in my three point plan. But the first thing I would do is tackle waste at, at our different campuses. Now, we know that the environment and climate change is an important issue and we are facing a climate, a climate crisis, not just in Wales, but across the world. So we have to be on hand to deal with the challenges that will come uh, as a result of climate change. And the most important thing I would say about climate action is that we must start by doing the small things and then building up. So my first priority uh, in D6 and all the different campuses will be implementing a new exciting plastics policy uh, that will reduce plastics, reduce carbon footprint and make our college one of the best environmentally friendly colleges in Wales. Matthew. Okay, so I would like to, my first issue I'd like to be able to resolve is to give people in mainstream the option to work, to the option to learn independent living skills. Because far too often, people come to college and universities not knowing how to cook even basic meals and often struggle to budget for things like food and other necessities and not even being able to iron your clothing. I, um, I personally think this is a very major issue that needs to be resolved. And I will do this by working closely with college management as well as the college faculty. And yeah, it's, but I hope I answered your question well. Um, well, obviously, the big issue at the moment is coronavirus, but surrounding that would be making mental health a priority. So through coronavirus, making sure even if we do leave college, we have those right channels um, to contact someone um, if we need help, because obviously, you know, we've, we've all seen maybe on like Facebook, Instagram, like the helplines, sometimes you don't really want to call them, sometimes you want to speak to someone you know maybe, but just making sure that there's that help and support for mental health as it is a big priority of mine. The yeah, question, question five. Pam ydych chi eisiau bod yn llywydd y myfyrwyr? Why do you want to be the student president? So we'll start now with Echai Hevoti, Ellie. Um, why I want to be the student president is because I just think I'd be a really strong voice for the students at college. I think that I would take this role really well and I think that I could get things done around the college and make sure that we do get what we want. Um, I think that I've got some really good um, ideas and some um, quite exciting ideas for the college. Um, I think I'd just be strong and friendly voice for the students. Matthew. Okay, so within my first year of college, I had learned so many new skills and so many new lessons that could help me get a job, um, live independently, and overall become a functioning member of society. And I have gained loads of really amazing friends as a result of being at College Cambria. I, as president, I would like to give back. I'd like to give back to a happy community that has given me personally so much over this last year and has opened so many doors for me. Um, so many doors for me and to bring everybody together. And I would personally, under one voice, like to bring everyone together under one voice. Um, and I'd like to open doors to future students as, as college has opened doors for me. I do believe it answers your question, Dio Caval. Oh, Jonathan. Yeah, I th this is probably the most important question of all, isn't it? Why do you want to do it? And my drive to take on this role and get elected to this role is, you know, about young people. It's about prioritising the issues that matter uh, and making change on these issues. Because I think it's all very good having a president that talks, but we must also have, have a president who is committed to action uh, as well. And I'm driven by making things better. But as I said, I have a proven track record of delivery. And this is so important now in the COVID-19 pandemic, where we've seen a lot of the priorities of young people in Wales that haven't been uh, prioritised. So 
I haven't, as well, I think it's important to mention that I haven't been afraid to speak up for young people on issues that uh, haven't had a voice on. So, for example, when it came to the results day fiasco, uh, I was meeting with ministers and uh, the first minister of Wales uh, to resolve this for young people. So, like I say, I'm completely driven by young people, and if elected, uh, young people will be my priority. Diolch yn fawr. Ar cwestiwn oa, beth hoffech chi ei newid yn neu amdan yn chweched glanau dyfrdwyd? What would you like to change at or about D6? Jonathan. I, I think, yeah, I'm probably in, I like to think I'm probably in the best position to answer this first question because obviously I'm a, a student there. Uh, but the first thing that uh, I would prioritise at D6, in addition to what I said about plastics and, you know, the environmental policy, I would prioritise making sure that all students had good access to careers advice and support with UCAS and personal statements, because this is coming up now for so many young people. And it's important that, you know, Colour Cambria is able to prioritise those young people uh, and have, you know, student voice services and all sorts of manner of other services available to them. So if elected, I will make sure that we've got more student support at D Side 6 so we can support everybody in the career path they want to do in the future. Matthew. Um, honest, I am not on I am not very sure of the issues surrounding D, the specific issues surrounding D Side 6. However, I do know a lot of people, a few people within D Side 6 who are willing to help me if I get elected. I will also be willing to consult people, people students within D6, as well as members of the NUS in D Side 6. I will also conduct online surveys to help determine and help scope out a plan to resolve issues within D Side 6. And just, yeah, thank you. Um, again, that's quite um, a difficult question, but obviously asking the students what they want, first of all, but from speaking to Decide 6 students, it seems to be like food for some reason um, and transport as well. But for me, it's um, an obvious, there's an obvious divide between Decide 6 and other campuses. For whatever reason, Decide 6 seems to end up like a little bit cut off because obviously we can't access that campus but maybe making things so that um more students interact together so we all get um the opportunity to use all the different kinds of facilities um making it more of a community okay thank you very much anyone who has tuned in to us this will be made available on youtube twitter and on um, facebook unfortunately our facebook feed didn't quite connect because we missed the uh the cut off technical issues as it happens but oh well we, we've got there thank you very much to non for coming and doing the questions today and thank you very much to all our candidates who are on screen with us Thank you, and votes open at 5 p.m. today. So pick your candidate and get your votes in. Thank you.